Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in the rest of the Lord. Still we are in the uh, octave of Easter. And uh, today, Saturday, uh, we are presented with another uh, passage from, uh, from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses from 9 to 15, for our reflection. In a way, the Gospel of Mark, the passage that we read today, uh, summarizes and uh, gives a kind of uh, uh, account uh, of all the appearances of Jesus after his resurrection uh, to his disciples and also to his close followers. Uh, because we have been reading uh, from the Gospel of John where uh, Jesus appeared first uh, to Mary Magdalene and to the, uh, uh, the apostles. And um, uh, in the in the uh, Gospel of Luke, we see Jesus uh, appeared to these two uh, disciples who were going down to uh, Emmaus, and then again uh, to the disciples uh, in Jerusalem. So, in a way, uh, when we uh, go through the the first uh, uh, few days Gospel, uh, one could uh, imagine and uh, think that. Uh, whether the, the mission of Jesus uh, is successful because it seems that all these uh, apostles and the followers uh, have not comprehended what uh, Jesus uh, uh, has been uh, uh, telling. And then uh, he told everything in plain words that the Son of Man has to suffer and die but on the third day he will rise again. But uh, these things have been uh, not reached uh, in, in, into the hearts and minds of uh, these apostles and followers. So that's why Jesus uh, has to make himself show once again to all these people and make them convince, reorganize them, and also to make them uh, uh, kind of witnesses to his uh, resurrection. So um, it is in Acts uh, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses uh, uh, from 40, it is uh, uh, written like this. Uh, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. Now, this is very interesting. And... Uh, Jesus appeared to the uh, one who appeared to those people who, who have been chosen by God and also who have been uh, chosen uh, to be the true um, witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus. So dear my, my dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus uh, uh, appeared in Jerusalem, now we reflect on this particular word Jerusalem. What is Jerusalem? Now, Jerusalem is uh, where, where, where I am right now. Uh, it can be my, my, uh, my home. And it, is, it can be myself and my, my, uh, my inner self. My uh, place where I uh, uh, be with. So, Jesus wants you and me to experience his resurrection first Day within my heart because my heart is also a living church where uh, Jesus lives because my body is the indwelling place of the Holy Spirit. So, my dear brothers and sisters, first I had to personally experience the risen Lord and then having uh, encountered, having met Jesus, uh, having identified Jesus, I need to be a witness and take that word to the whole world. So first I had to begin with myself. I had to be a good prophet to myself. I had to be a good shepherd to myself. And I had to be a, 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 a good um, witness to myself. So uh, uh, these days uh, we all are uh, in, in, in our own, uh, own homes. So it's a good time for us to um, experience personally and also having uh, experienced this risen Lord personally to share with uh, this faith uh, 
uh, with one another, uh, maybe our own family members, and then thereby uh, to go out to proclaim to the whole world uh, about the resurrection of uh, Jesus. And uh, it is Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, uh, verse 31. It's one second, it's a beautiful thing it is said. Uh, they answered, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. So when you begin to believe, it's not only that you'll be saved, but because of your faith, that your family, the one with whom you associate, they, are, they also will be saved. So if a tiny virus can do this much of damage, imagine what a mustard seed of faith can do because God is still on the throne. He is risen. And let us personally experience the resurrected Lord today and thereby having encountered him, having enjoyed his presence, his uh, fruits of his resurrection, uh, we had to move out, uh, be, uh, being uh, uh, witnesses of his uh, word to the whole world. So let us pray that the Holy Spirit will uh, give us that spirit uh, to uh, be real, authentic witnesses uh, of the resurrected Jesus. Amen. May God bless you all.